Hey, it's Angry Agni here and today I have a bonus video because it appeared that um, my DNS Unbound doesn't work with HTTPS so I could not open my ESXi host uh, through the web browser using FQDN. To make that work I need to generate certificate and change um, settings. So let's very quickly have a look how we can do that. First step is to create your own root CA with this command and then enter pass phrase. Make it something secure and don't lose it. Verify it. And now we can generate the root CA certificate. By the way, all the commands will be listed in the video description down below. So don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks. The process of generating root CA requires to ask a few questions. After that, it will be generated with lifespan of five years. Now let me just speed up a video a bit and I will see you once it's all generated. Now, to DNS over HTTP works, we need to install ngHttp2 library. On this stage, we just need to edit the unbound config and add our TLS bundle. So we are heading over to interface 0.0.0, .0, we make a space to add the new entry and we add tls-cert-bundle column and now we are showing where the bundle is. I put all my certificate in etc SSL folder and we are pointing to our .pem file. Now what we need to do is to just save it and exit. So escape column WQ, enter. And now we need to restart services. As you can see, I am probably you spotted that I already had that service stopped. So I just need to start it up again. And in this moment, we, uh, we can check the status and there is no errors and we are good to go. So let's test it. And there is a one more thing worth to mention that you may set up everything correctly and you still don't have any results. That could be the case that your local machine is not pointed to that particular DNS. So to rectify that is very easy. You just need to open your network settings and on the network where you are connected to the internet, you just right click to properties and you go to IPv4 and properties and in this section you just need to point to your 
local DNS. So use the following DNS server address and put your DNS address over here. And my angry nation, that is everything what I prepared for you today. Please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them down below or ask me over the Twitter. It's at AngrySysOps. Read my blog, sign up for the Facebook group, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.